Hello friends, good morning. Welcome to Inglain English Classroom. Now in the date English, Unit 1, Lesson 2, Learning the Game, Last Part, Part 4. Friends, you remember the parts of the excerpt that we have already discussed, don't you? What were they about? You know, we have discussed three parts. First one is from the beginning to Ajayaka sir agreeing to train searching. You remember, you know all these things. And second one is summer camp at Shivaji Park. And the next one is Sachin changing his school and his cricket coaching at the new school. Then, that's okay, you know all these things. I don't want to discuss this in detail because you know all these things very good. Now, do you know what else Sachin tells us about himself? Please look at the picture. Okay, what do you see the in the first picture? Huh. You have seen his coach Ajayaka sir. And who are they? Ajayaka sir and his father. How does Sachin treat them? Sachin treats them with great respect. How do they treat Sachin? With uh, affection or very affectionately. Do you think Sachin learned many lessons from his own experiences and also from his coach Ajayaka sir? Yes, we have discussed the role of Ajit in molding Sachin, uh, in molding the cricketer in Sachin. And what about these two fellows? That is uh, Ajayaka sir and uh, his father. What are the lessons did they teach him? Okay, let us see. We can do the next part of the excerpt and we can learn everything about it. Ready, dears? Yes? Don't forget to read with me. Occasionally, my father came to take me home and I would always ask him to treat me to a special fruit cocktail child at a juice center near the club. While this regular demand was a little unreasonable, because at the time I did not realize that my parents also had to take care of the needs of my brothers and sister, my father would invariably end up giving me what I wanted just to see me happy. On other days, when I made my way home from Shivaji Park on my own, I would often fall asleep on the bus if I managed to sit down. Anyone who has been on a Mumbai bus at peak hours will know just how difficult it is to get a seat. On days when I was in Soleki, it was still a challenge just to stand with the kid man because the bus conductors would inevitably complain about me taking up the space of another passenger. It could be embarrassing because the conductors were often rude and would sometimes ask me to buy two tickets. I didn't have the money for a second ticket and I had to learn to take these remarks in my stride. Getting close often added to the embarrassment. With time, I evolved a way of wrapping the kit bag around me. Just as the helmet and pads became a part of me while batting, so the kit bag became an extension of me on the bus. I'd often take the bus or train from Bandra to Churchgate, and it was all a great learning experience. Even though I loved the cricket, there were still occasional days when playing with my friends at home was such fun that I would conveniently forget I was supposed to go to the next. If I didn't turn up, Ajayaka sir would jump onto his scooter and come to find me. Sir would spot me in the melee and virtually drag me out. I would come up with excuses, but he would have none of it. He would get me to change and head off to Shivaji Park. On the drive, he would tell me, Don't waste your time playing in any games with these kids. Cricket is waiting for you at the nets. Practice hard and see what magic can transpire. 
At that time, I hated being dragged off, but as I look back, I feel sheepish about my actions and can only admire Jacobs's far-sightedness. Sir also punished me on one occasion when trying to teach me a very important lesson. Once I bungled my daily evening practice to watch an Indo school cricket match, not anticipating that Sir would be there. He was angry and he said it wasn't for me to come and watch other people play for. If I practiced hard enough, one day people from across the world would come and watch me play. Had it not been for Sir, I would not be the cricketer I turned out to be. He was a strict disciplinarian and did everything he could for me. I owe myself to him. Okay, dears, I think you read it and you got the answers and some of let us brush up it again. How did his father treat him? He treated him kindly and lovingly, you know, and he uh, even yielded to his unreasonable demand. Okay, now how does or what does he say about his bus journey to his house after practice? Sometimes, you know, his father would come and take him back, but on other occasions he would uh, go back on bus or by bus and uh, he had many so many difficulties while traveling on bus right and uh, what was sir do when Sachin did not turn up for practice you know he would jump on to his scooter and come in search of Sachin when did sir punish him when he wanted to teach him an important lesson you remember that then how does he express his gratitude sir the last sentences we can see it again right okay and it was a great learning experience i owe myself to him what does why does sachin say so what title can be given to this part we have given titles for all of the three parts. What title can be given to this part? We can read the paragraph again silently. Then you can get all these things. You don't forget to know the important words. Okay, dears? Yeah, that's a suggestion. That is the lesson Sachin learned from his experiences in and outside the new school that can be the title given and let us try to answer some simple questions right who would come to take him after practice sometimes his father would come and what would Sachin ask him to treat to he asked him to treat a special food cocktail at the juice center near the club was this regular demand reasonable no why because at that time uh, his parents had to look after his brothers and the sister but did the father yield to that demand yeah he would give him that uh, special uh, fruit cup time to make Sachin happy and on other days, that means when a father uh, would come to take him, how would he go back? He went back on Mumbai uh, city bus. And then there are two different situations are discussed in one. Which are they? One, uh, when he would get a seat, then he would uh, fall asleep and when he couldn't manage to get a seat then it was very difficult right and then how did the bus conductors uh, behave towards him they behaved rudely and they would complain what would they complain they would complain that the Sachin was taking the space of another passenger and sometimes what they demand they would 
the man to buy or ask him to buy two tickets. Then, how did he try to manage it? He learned to take those remarks in his stride. Okay, then what added to the embarrassment? The dirty clothes. How did he try to overcome that situation? He evolved a way of wrapping the kit bag around him. Uh, just as the helmet and pads uh, became an extension of him by while back it with the kit bag became an extension uh, on the bus how did he go to the church gate go to church gate either uh, he would take bus or train now it was a learning experience why because he learned many things to compromise, to adjust to. Uh, he uh, had met different people with the different characters and it has given him or it had given him many life skills. Okay. Now, we know Sachin loved the cricket, but did he try to bunk with the practices? Certainly, sometimes, because he was a child, when he would play with his own friends, he would conveniently forget that he was to or he had to go to the nets for practice. Then, if Sachin didn't turn up, what would Ajayaka sir do? Ajayaka sir would jump onto his, onto his scooter and come to find the Sachin. And what did he do then? He would uh, notice uh, him in the uh, rushing crowd of people, uh, children, and he would drag him and ask him to uh, uh, change his dress and uh, they would head off to uh, Shivaji Park. And what does Sachin do? He would come up with uh, lame excuses, but Sir would not accept them. What would Sir say on the drive? He would say not to, to waste, he would ask uh, Sachin not to waste his time playing silly games with those uh, children and because cricket was waiting for him at the nets so he uh, advised him to practice hard and uh, then he could see what magic could transfer or happen and at that time did Sachin uh, like these things no but when he became matured he says or he feels sheepish and he can only admire and they can search for sight. Okay, did sir, sir punish him? On one occasion, when he was trying to teach a very important lesson, sir punished him. And why was sir angry once? He tried to bung or play truant to evade the uh, class even in practice to watch in the cricket uh, school cricket match so he was very angry and he told him that it wasn't for him to come and watch other people play for if he practiced hard enough one day people from across the world would come and watch him play what a true prophecy it was yes right and how does Sachin uh, express his uh, respect for uh, Sir? He says, had it not been for Sir, he would not be a cricketer he turned out to be. And he says, he owes himself to him. Right, yes, okay. Now, let us see the scaffolding questions. This regular demand was a little unreasonable. What was the demand? You know that. I think there is no need of uh, discussing it now. You know, his uh, demand uh, for or to treat him, demand to treat him to that special fruit salad. Why was it unreasonable? You know, he had to look after, uh, they had to look after uh, his brothers and sister. And why was such an ask? That by bus conductors to buy two tickets because with his kit bag he would take the space of one more passenger. 
Cricket is waiting for you. Practice hard. See what man can transfer. What aspects of coach are? He was a very sincere and dedicated coach. And why did Ajay Kassar punish Sachin sometime uh, to teach him a very important lesson? How did it help him to it helped him to practice hard regularly and become a world renowned cricketer? Okay, yes, you write it yourself and compare the answers with the ones in the notes. Now let us discuss the paragraphs in detail. Occasionally, my father came to take me home. Sometimes, let us see the words first. Occasionally, sometimes. Treat means to provide someone with food, drink or entertainment, you know. Fruit cocktail, a finely chopped fruit salad, right? And unreasonable, not uh, beyond the limits of acceptability or fairness. That is Anujita Maya, Sigari Maya, the wise Ittirehita Maya, you know. Take care of means some Shikha, uh, invariably, always, a poor and that means our sign to the P covers rashams, kit bag, a long sleeve ticket, canvas bag. Inevitably means unavoidably. You know, on this thing, let us see this rush hour, rush hour. You see the vehicles and the people here rush hour, and this, uh, the, the uh, kit bag may be like this. Okay, now let us discuss it. See, okay, sometimes his father would come to take him home after practice. And then he would always ask him to treat him, to buy him a special fruit salad or fruit cocktail at the juice center near the club. At that time he didn't understand that this regular demand was a little unreasonable. But later he uh, understood or realized that because at that time his fa father or his parents had to look after or uh, had to meet the needs of his brothers and the sister. But his father would always end up giving him that the uh, fruit cock time just to see him happy. Very simply, yes, I think, no doubt. And on the other hand, that means when his father didn't come, he made his way home on his own, that is, by bus. He would often fall asleep if he got a seat, but it was very difficult. At peak hours, to get a seat on Mumbai bus is very difficult. On such days, uh, he had to, uh, that, uh, there was a challenge that is, uh, he had to uh, keep his kit bag. And uh, the bus conductors would uh, always. Uh, a complaint that Sachin was taking the space of one more passenger and sometimes they would ask him to take one more ticket or the second ticket right we can see the words embarrassing means causing confusion and saying Ambarapikuna right rude means Parishamaya take something in one style a style that is a phrase of style deal with something difficult and pleasant in a calm and accepting manner. Take something in one style. Evolve, develop, extension. You can read it. Occasional occurring or appearing, done infrequently or irregularly, conveniently, so very important. Spot, see or notice, merely a group of rushing people, virtually or most or very nearly come up with to produce unique, right? And have none of something, the sun idiom, that means to refuse to accept, mira sikha, head of means, prasthalta matasthalaka, poga, mira poga, right? Okay. Now, could be embarrassing or causing confusing, that is, Sometimes the conductors asked him to take second ticket, but he didn't have the money for that. So uh, he learned to take these remarks, the remarks of the conductors in his time. He adjusted it, he compromised with it. He took it in a calm and quiet way, right? And his dirty clothes added to the embarrassment. You know, after practice, 
his clothes were dirty and it added uh, to the confusion of this embarrassment uh, with time gradually he evolved he developed a way of covering his kit bag around him just as the helmet and pads become part of him while batting while batting he would wear helmet and pad just like that he kept the kit bag uh, he covered it around him and became an extension of him on the bus uh, he would often take the bus or train from Bangla Chasigay and it was he says it was a great learning experience we have mentioned yes that is he met many friends and uh, the travel or journey is a uh, really a, uh, an experience which you can take uh, teach us many things right okay and the the next part he says he loved the cricket but so on some occasions he would uh, bunk with the class and he would forget conveniently that he was supposed to go to the next usually when he played with his friends but if sachin didn't turn up his director sir would jump on his scooter and come to find him sir would notice him in the approaching uh, people a group of rushing children and he would virtually drag him pull him out and then sachin would come up sachin would uh, uh, rise or produce many excuses rain excuses but sir would not accept them he would uh, uh, refuse them and he would get him change his clothes and uh, head off travel towards shivaji park right now see the words inane silly at the nets concerning cricket it has two meaning a pitch surrounded by nothing used for practice or a practice session in a net drag pull sheepish means looking embarrassed far sightedness for sight the division bang up scored up right round class cut here kallachari uta in malayalam we may say like that okay and then anticipate means anticipate mean regard as probable or simply expect pradeekshika turned out to happen a particular way and strict demanding karshanamaya disciplinarian you know a person who believes or practices firm discipline oh someone who want that means to be indebted to someone cut up for the right now very simple is yes. on the drive on their way to shivaji park sir would say don't waste his time playing silly games with those children because cricket was waiting for him at the next we have learned that practice hard and see what the magic can transfer happen transfer means happen okay and at that time sachin didn't like being dragged off by sir but <laughs> now he feel sheepish or embarrassed about his actions right okay how foolish he was now he feels so right now and he can only admire the professor's foresight the vision sir once punished him when he was trying to teach him a very important lesson and once he didn't attend the daily evening practice to watch an inter school cricket match not expecting that a director sir would be there so uh, or then he was the sir was very angry and said it was sin for such him to come and watch other people play for but if he practice hard enough one day people all over the world will come and watch him play had it of so you see tears what a true prophecy is that right it happened it transpired the magic can transfer you can see this one that the magic transpired right or magic happened right and he says had it not been for sir see that's a conditional uh, uh, close it is uh, just like it, it means uh, if it had not been for sir at the sarnu vendi ayirillengil i would not be the cricket writer no ipa i madri i am cricket aagum ayirunnilla right and it was he was a strict disciplinarian discipline is must be as for 
in kind of uh, uh, upliftment or growth in our life there should be we have to discipline should be there punctuality should be there hard work should be there if there are these things you can win you can be the champion right that is what we can get from this uh, except or from such in uh, life and did everything he could for me sir did to everything sir could for such in and he says he is indebted uh, himself to him they told it need a cut but it could not get yes now very simple yes you have to read it many times and what are the main ideas as everyone knows the secret of his success was sheer hard work and fair play he worked hard and he uh, uh, his uh, his fair play that means uh, he uh, fair means uh, with uh, innocent or uh, he sincerely he played and submissive and obedient he received the blessing of his teacher ajrekar sir who trained him from for from his school days ds you have to bear in your mind one thing we have to get the blessing of our teachers and our parents these two things are very important for our success right yes now see the activity one we have seen that ajrekar sir and the mission local played an important role in molding a legend they agree certainly here are some points now let us see uh, 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 earlier we have done a write up we have written a write up on the role played by ajit you remember just like that you have to do this i'm going to provide you with the hints and you have to group them the points let it as you sir you have to write here 1 2 3 4 5 6 like that and the next sentence is father 1 2 3 4 like this these are the hints you can read it and you can do it yourself allowed such to change the school well at this point uh, who uh, is it related to you know this is uh, related to uh, mr sentence just like that you have to read the things agreed to train such in cricket trained such in during the summer camp advised him to change school solely if he was really serious about playing cricket and came to take him home after the practice at shadha samvidya mandir called his father and suggested changing such in school trained such in at his new camp for some days uh, from uh, some days trained such in at his new camp that is here that uh, in school uh, that is shadha samvidya mandir then uh, please sit in a one rupee coin on the stem for him to bat avoid getting out and we need well, that is motivated him sometimes he would even come to take such an on the sport up to the park if he didn't turn up for practice his father said to salpri he identify a world champion in such in encouraged his sons saying all he wanted him to do was to make his best effort without worrying about the results occasionally treated such into a special food for kids i think you can group them and with the help of all uh, these points you prepare a brief write up we have discussed what a write up in the last class and uh, see the uh, topic for the write up role played by others so you can include ajit role to we have discussed it so prepare the write up right yes no second one we have already prepared profile of sachin's coach ma kanda director suppose the school is organizing a meeting to honor him you are the anchor of the function prepare a script for introducing him how can we do that see you can be like dear friends with the dear friends and you can begin like this i have immense pleasure in releasing to you the great man who molded indian cricket legend sachin tendulkar it was about him such a right is said i owe myself to him then what are the points can be included see what is he he was a cricket coach he is a cricket coach named the club he founded at shivaji park kamath memorial cricket club at shivaji park and who are the famous cricketers he has trained such in tendulkar we know family ajita dagarkar who did he play for mumbai fort young maharashtra 11 and will mohar means 
and you can uh, add his personal characters or traits or qualities too and what are the honors and awards he received you know all these things it was the or the were the along with the profile right now you have to write it please watch this video and make an idea I 
pleasure to see you up in the stands. Uh, normally he sits in front of the television and he watches all the games that I play. When I was, uh, when I was 11, 12, those, those were the days where I used to hop back on his scooter and play a couple of practice matches a day. So first half of the innings I would be batting on Shivaji Bhav. The second half, some other match at Azam Meda, sir would be taking me all over Mumbai to make sure that I got match practice. Okay friends, I hope you have learned what you have discussed and you have got inspired by story so you don't forget to uh, follow the message from this uh, excerpt. Thank you for watching. Meet you again. Till then, goodbye.